Ukrainian women are highly racist. Ukrainian people are highly racist. What? No, what are you talking about? No? No. Why have we not one successful black man client in 27 years then? And I understand why Ukrainian women, because I never thought about it. Ten reasons why you never want to marry a Ukrainian woman. <laughs> Remember, I did I did a video with Stryker back in the day that went viral, got almost a million views. So we're going to go through them. And I'm going to tell you which ones came from me, which ones came from Anna, or, or which one. It, it, yeah, if we didn't both agree which ones came from which, so you know. Uh, it's my opinion or Anna's opinion. And you mm -hmm. can maybe talk about some. I'll talk about mm -hmm. the others. Number one. So here's where the <laughs> fighting starts probably with Anya. Um, I'm going to say number one. They lie. <laughs> oh, my God. Lying is more socially acceptable in Ukraine than in our culture. Um, they pretty much always lie, in my experience, to cover up why they're breaking up with you. Again, my experience. Uh, the root reason is because culturally, it's bad to offend people. That's my belief as well. That's my analysis over six years. What do you think, babe? Yes. yes I Truth or dare? I mean. Truth. <laughs> Truth. Truth. I agree here. Yeah. Okay. I thought, I thought this one was going to be a fight. Okay. So they choose to lie because they don't want to offend. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Be polite. People were polite. Here is a short video about, um, yeah, my first heartbreak. I met a beautiful and fell for an, an amazing blonde in Ukraine. And, well, to cut to the chase, I thought we were in a serious relationship, only to find out that she was engaged and she flew off to Israel to get married. Well, I thought, silly me, that we had a serious relationship. When a Ukrainian woman leaves you, it's shrouded in confusion. That's the big one. Bewilderment, like you don't see it coming. Like a semi, a side swipes you, runs a red and side swipes you. You're like, what? Huh? Uh, I thought everything was good. You know, and on the top of it all, or underneath it all, I should say, underneath it all, it's based on lies. Deceit, deception. And this is what I really personally um, don't like. <laughs> Find it very hard. Um, because I always believe that uh, honesty, brutal honesty is the best policy. So my personal beliefs just really conflict with this whole lie thing in Ukraine. You've heard me say this many times live, is that I thank the Lord above. <laughs> I, I love Garth Brooks' song, Unanswered Prayers. Sometimes, you know, um, he doesn't answer, doesn't mean he doesn't care. Because sometimes God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers. Because if I had settled with that, cold fish, <laughs> okay, I wouldn't have met this angel, right? And I wouldn't have the God-given incredible life that I have now, right? And two darling daughters, you know. So I thank God for, you know, my, that he didn't answer my prayers because I wanted to find somebody quickly. and get married and have children and have a family. That was what I was in Ukraine for. Okay, so the next one, I'm going to give you a clue. Please write in chat and I'm going to have some kind of prize. I don't know what yet. I'll think about it by the live stream. But whoever gets this, I got some kind of prize. <laughs> the core reason of why they're cold is because they're not fake. It takes a while to warm up. Oh, for a Slavic person to warm up to you, man or woman, they warm up to you slowly. And then once... So that's just different. It's just culturally different than us. But then I can say once they are your friend and your attested friend or family, they will do so much more for you than a friend in our part of the world will do. And I have um, stories <laughs> on this too. Yeah, my greatest friends and family is in Ukraine. Okay, number three, honey, it's opposite mindset to us. With Ukrainian women, they're not from... Venus. They're from <laughs> Neptune. They're like Neptune. <laughs> they're, they're, they're even more different. So like if the difference between man and women is like this, Western man to Western woman with Ukrainian, push that out. <laughs> it's just because you had cultural difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, their mindset. I'm going to talk about mindset. Next, I'm going to talk about, that's number three, 
It's vastly, vastly different. And you have to study it, experience it, be in um, <laughs> relationship. Probably some failed ones before you really start to understand truly their mindset. And you never really truly understand <laughs> at the end of the day. I, I, I mean, I understand maybe... Maybe 80%. I don't know. But will I ever bridge the gap to that remaining 20? Probably never if I haven't done it by now. Um, and number four is cultural differences. They are as deep as the Titanic lies at the bottom of the ocean. They are that deep, which is uh, deeper than the Burj Khalifa. <laughs> uh, it's deep. It's deeper? Yes. Higher. Well, it's deeper then the Burj Khalifa is high. Yes. Um, I mean, it's a chasm. The cultural difference, again, is chasm. And it's these mindset and cultural differences that are the root cause of most relationship breakup. It, because it's a misunderstanding. Because they um, they see some something you do as one thing, and you to you, it's just normal. It's something normal, something else. But for them, you know, so, so that is a big con. Those are big, too big. I... Like lying and mindset and cultural differences are the biggest cons. And, and, and they're not really cons, right? They're just differences, right? Yeah, but it's probably. a con if you want to start a relationship with one of these crazy women. I mean, women. Okay. <laughs> Number five is mm -hmm. qualities innate to most North American men are radically disliked. And this is a big one. For example, um, over talkativeness, verbal diarrhea big dislike by Ukrainian women, right? That they, and I was told girls didn't want to see me anymore because I talked too much. I, I, I was told, I, like, once you dig it out of them, it's like, okay, that was a reason for a breakup. So I learned, I learned to control <laughs> my verbal <laughs> diarrhea, right? So again, guys, remember, I've had about 50 different, you know, datings, I will say. Some of them formed relationship. Um, most of them did not. Um, they were just, most of them were one, two or three dates or maybe up to five dates. But in this, I learned the culture, the mindset differences, right? Um, other differences would be um, oversensitive, yes. oversensitive, mm -hmm. Over, oversensitive. We are much more oversensitive mm -hmm. to Ukrainian men and Ukrainian women don't like that. I told you that one, one woman broke up with me. I'm, I'm too sentimental, which is over, which is sen sensitive, right? Um, Complain. And you guys can see that, you know, I, I can barely, you know, anyway. So. Um, complainers. Also. Oh, complainers. It's, oh, my God. Western. And, you can and I got that don't... one, too. I got nailed with complainer. When you're in a restaurant, and you're complaining about the food being cold or this or that. Ukrainian men don't do that. You're complaining about the eggs not done right, which was my. I love my eggs over easy. Nobody in Ukraine knows what the fuck over easy is, right? So that was a big one for me. And I and I, I got nailed on that one, complainer. I got nailed a lot on that one by my, my dates. So I'm just saying, these qualities that are innate in us foreign or North American men are a problem, are disliked, radically disliked by Ukrainian women. And that's a con. It's a con to uh, a successful relationship. <laughs>